Hello.
What's up, guys? You know who it is on the mic. This is Lou's going up. I got a creep from the creep place. Yeah, that's why I got it. And you know what's better? Uh, eating a creep while on commentary? Yo, we got a commentary? What's up? Well, I'm going to be eating a creep. 
You're eating a crepe? Where the hell did you get a crepe? From the crepe place. There's a crepe place? There is a crepe place. I need to use my campus town dollars for the crepe for the crepe place. Dude, why do you not know the places? Because Kenny isn't taking me to enough places. Oh. I will be honest though. Yeah. Indie Grill's pretty freaking good. Eo knows what's up with that. Eo knows what's up. Are you in the low tier bracket? I am in the low tier bracket. Who are you playing? Piranha Plant. I thought you are not allowed to. Shh. I'll play Ridley. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what about uh, Donkey Kong? He sells anomalies. Dang it. <laughs> Fine, I guess I have to play a mix of... Fine, I guess I have to play a mix of Simon and Richter, Belmont, Why Me, Sword... Me Swordfighter, and Dr. Mario, and King K. Rule. No, I mean 16 people. What? 16, like, registered. I mean, so it goes fast. Yeah, no. Hang on, wait, are you, you signed up? You should have, like, emailed wait, the person. You, wait, are you signed up? No. Are you signed no, up? No, I'm not signed up. Hang on, up. wait, if my round one doesn't show, can he play and place in my round one? It would be seated about the same, so whoever You're wins. You're such a party pooper. You're such a party pooper. This is why Donkey Kong's banned, and it's your fault. You're such a party pooper, dude. You know, one one dollar money match, Zangief Dittos. Let's go. Modern controls only. <laughs> yeah, they're not playing for a dollar. What? One dollar too good for you now? <laughs> I don't think you understand. My modern Geef took a single round off Kenny once, and he wasn't using Kami. He was using like Ryu. I hit I hit SBD into SBD in the air into SBD on the ground into wake up super three. That was so tough. I beat you in a singular round in friendlies by hitting three SBDs in a wake up super three. Cause my geef is just that good. Labeled it? This is for, I don't know. I can have a yeast offline DQ win. You think I'm ever Guys, this crave is so good. Actually, no, wait. That's like the least yeast thing I've ever had. But you sign up for so many brackets. There has to be at least one time where it happens. Dude, I missed, dude, I missed a carpool to a bracket at Penn State, and I drove four hours all by myself. And so I didn't do that. What the? You think I won't, dude? You think I'll ever DQ from a bracket? You don't know me, though. It's great. You're jealous. Yeah. Really cool. I was, 
have yet in my life, so I don't have that experience in my hands. What's, what's, what is a crate? Preach to me. A crate? That's a crate. Oh. I heard crate like a box. Yeah, sorry. But no, low That's key, best thing I have is a trace like Jimmy Mac game, so it's inside of two things. That I've heard about. That sounds good. Trace like Jimmy Mac game. They're not like the trace like Jimmy Mac game. Wait, what? Since when? Since when? That's a long thing. You've just been holding that information from us? Huh? You've just been holding that information from us? Yeah. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Unheard of scientific discovery. Secret get out. It's not a secret anymore, though. Now I have to live with that for the rest of my life. Did you, did you, did you tell anyone else you're going to crash the account? Uh, Oh, it's so good, dude. Let's fucking go. Oh, bro's playing TV. Kind of fell in. Yeah. It's DDD. Thoughts? About what? DDD. He's funny, I like him. Yeah, he's cool. You want to play, practice once I'm done eating this? If there's a setup? Uh, there are setups behind us. You gotta warm up, as in I gotta warm up. I don't know what you need to do, but I need to play villager. Whoa, Ganon! Let's fucking go. Yo, is that my baby? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what he can do. I don't see how Kevin Jay is actually playing a few times. Okay, okay, get the confirm. Oh! Okay, okay. Well. Brian, right? Oh, we should dance that. Uh, no, Brian's not here. Where are you What? No. Oh, that's Brian's little man. That's weird. Yeah. They have Ganon win. Uh, cause he's a lad in the luxury bracket and he's stupid and dumb. Eh. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We're going. Good gameplay, Brian. I'm Pickle Rick. I'm one and oh. 
you, I said to you, you look my way and then dap the fuck up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know who was saying my name. I'm sorry.
Mic on. Xavier. Yeah, oh, yeah. Ease on the mic. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is on. Hello, I'm here. World's it's not do anything. I'm the world's greatest commentator to ever do it. We got. I'm here to. I'm here. To, you know, I'm, let me. Let me. Let me get. Let me get. Let me get these things set up. Alright, hold on, 
just I'm just doing some it's a good old classic. Uh, I got nothing. <laughs> I got literally nothing. What do you what do you think? Um I have no idea. Alright. Alrighty, alrighty. We see, you know, Sentinel already on the back end against uh Shineburst in this match. But you know, this could be this could be uh something. He does get the up B and nice good damage right there. 175 needs to find the kill soon. Possibly anything like a straight forward air might find the kill. Kenny gets the grab. 114 on Sentinel. And the edge guard gets a little bit too predictable with the recovery there. So now as Sentinel, you need to find something to find this stock here. Anything at the ledge might do it. You know, a forward air F tilt like that, just right there. And Shimerst. A little bit, you know, a little bit now. Uh, definitely still has the lead, and now doesn't have the massive percent. So now he's just going to do as much as he can to get his, his extra credit here. But as Sentinel, you need to keep your opponent out. You know, you need to keep him out, but you can't. Ganon, you know, he's a slow guy, but if you, unless you're utilizing your projectile super, super well, he is going to find a way in. He is going to get that damage there. 60% already. Oh, good combo. Could see something there, big there. Is going to push Kenny onto the ledge. Not going to do enough. 87 right now, still on the ledge. Okay. Up B. Solid. Good dash attack. Sentinel is finding some damage in the sink, but possibly another sim another similar position here against the down air up B, and that's going to be the stock. Shineburst, you know, had such a big lead here. Still definitely has a lead, but, you know, on the back end a little bit here, you know, still, this still could possibly be a Sentinel game, depending on how he plays with this. Oh, moving around with it, moving around with it. I see him, I see him. He's not going to get enough out there. Okay. Little, little bit of a percent. Oh, gets him on the ledge. This could be big. You need to keep you need to keep Shineburst on the ledge as much as possible. But unfortunately, the good roll behind from Shineburst is gonna keep him back to the match. But 30%. Oh, okay. Very scary position. Any aerial from Shineburst. Oh, but a very zealous uh, wizard's foot right there. And right now, Sentinel has the chance to get this in this, but the dash attack is gonna do it, and that's gonna be game one for Shineburst. Why you telling your opponent you might switch to a different character? Because we're not doing counterfeit. Are, are you are you banning yeah. PS2 if I switch to K Rule? Alright, I fixed the camera kinda. Slightly. We'll figure it out. Alright, no counter picks. We're not seeing anybody. We're not seeing anybody new here. Same stage. Ooh, good damage coming through already from Shineburst. Uh, 55%, 77 with a forward air. And now you're on the back end again, on the ledge there, 88%. Not going to get the nair to seal out the stock. So Sentinel now has the ledge positioning. Tries to go for a weird back air up there, uh, back air to maybe catch a jump out, but not going to find anything super, super big off that. Again, we're seeing just some good, good overall gameplay by Shambers. You know, he's just, he's, he's just playing it very solidly, keeping your opponent back. Ooh, ooh, the forward are catching him out, though. You know? <laughs> ooh, damage coming through, though. Damage coming through. You know, some position in game one, you know, a lot of damage coming in for Sentinel, but he's just not closing out the stock as fast as he needs to. He needs to find a certain option right there. That could have been big, but a good spot dodge to avoid the grab, and it's going to take a percent. Ooh, gets the mix of again. 45% already on Sentinel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
you see, you know, Scheinberst, he plays very far back for the beginning of it. Uh, but as soon as he sort of, like, gets his opening, he, he just runs in. He puts a lot of pressure on the Sentinel. He turns from a hawk to a wolf. You know, he's a... Uh, he's playing a very solid game. Ooh, gonna get a little bit of damage out there, though. Still... It's just looking in Scheinberst's favor right now, though. Up... Three stocks to one again, similar to game uh, game one here. But Sentinel needs to find a way to get the stock out. Good DI from Kenny. Oh, we could. Oh, uh, I would have went for the uppy there and died. You know, me personally, I go out like a man. Okay, all right. Sentinel not out yet. Has the positioning. Has the stock. What are we seeing here? What are we seeing here? Oh, gets a little bit more damage out here. Gets a little bit. Oh, okay. We're seeing some combos. 39%. Pushes him into the corner. Oh, but just gets out. But unfortunately, is that slow move. You're not able to use it as, as offensively as he wants to. And again, 66%. Wow, that could have been a very strong F smash if it worked. 81%. Does he manage to find the recovery? Good, uh, good air dodge to avoid getting hop out of the nair, though. The tip man going to catch him on the back end. 94% on Sentinel, 78 on Shine Burst. This is a very scary position. You need to find something big here. But are you going to be able to find it? Are you going to be able to deliver the position? Can you do it? Oh, the forwarder is going to catch it, though. This Richter has fallen in battle. What? That was the right there. You just couldn't kill him. Literally. You just couldn't kill him. I even cheated too. I'm actually a Richter man. I've been a Richter man this whole time. My turn.
I threw the Gordo and I guess you hit it back up. It's the die. I, I was gonna do it after, I, but you know what, I thought I got hit, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm just dead, so I was doing like a hundred, and then you just, I was like, what the fuck?
press the triangle yeah, button. Yeah, yeah. This dude doesn't even have his glove. Well, now you see, yeah. you, 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 you get the better version. Okay, have you ever heard that he say, what the dick? <laughs> yes, he says the yeah. fuck. Yeah. You know who made that? I made that. I made the say, what the dick? I'm the one who did that. The name of that's the fuck. It's a special info button.
I know, I know. You know the first round of the best of the And it's these players from like Spain, like Wolf, like all of Asia. Like they made them all like the best of the Play. Right here. 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 Right here.
watch though. I think they have to wait.
there's Nelson. I'm gonna go say hi.
asked if I could help with it, and they said yes. I'm not necessarily doing commentary because I don't know if I want to do that right now. I can spell, is what you're asking. Yeah. <laughs> Because the winner of that is who you're facing. You want to go see that.
Hey, lock in. Lock in. I got this. Oh, shit. Do it out.
JJ. JJ. Good run. Good run. I know he won. I'm saying you had a good run. Which is true. I know, I just didn't hear you. Yeah, yeah. You probably thought I said we won, right? But you did, so I know. Yeah. I didn't say that. Until yeah. no one is watching this right now, but you need to look at this match. It's very close and very cool. Right. I'm gonna sit down here and just do it. If you'd like to leave at any point, let me know. I have no reason to stay except for you and the tournament. Because I kind of want to do battle quests. That's fair. All right. Let's think it out. Um, just whenever you're good. Okay, yeah. Right? No rush, obviously. We yeah. got the whole night. If the tournament drags and I don't want to stay for the final stuff, we'll get out of here. Yeah, yeah. And we do literally have all We have all night. We have all of tomorrow. I would prefer We're, to get an okay night's yeah. sleep. Same. So but the night may shift so into the morning, and that's okay. Like, I, like, I'm okay. I don't care what time we go to bed. I just care about the dissidence Same. of going to bed and waking up. I'm glad you have the vocabulary for this. All right, hold on. <laughs> Better hope. We're gonna call this off. Love that the nobody who's watching the stream is hearing me talk about like my personal schedule. How yeah, we do, how we do in one about, viewer? I say that might just lie, right? There's there's one viewer right now, and that one viewer is that stream up there. Anyways, there you go. Oh, is that the Kazumi that you? Uh... Oh wait, no, that Pat Did you say Kazuya? Kazuya. But this is Banjo and Mario. So what are you talking about? Where's Kazuya? Kazumi. Banjo and Kazuya. I heard Kazuya and I was like, no way. Kazuya. That would be hilarious. I'm about to Kazuya a so hard. <laughs> Bad puns. Disregard. <laughs> this is a close match. Yeah, I'm just going to sit down then. <clears throat> Nobody's watching, so you, you can honestly Yo. do your normal commentary. That'd be cool. Let's go. His the guy who's really good at ladder. I'm gonna do it just because I can. How we doing, nobody? Ooh. Welcome to Winners Corner. We're doing Banjo. We're doing Mario. Oh, there, oh there's the upper. <laughs> okay, so I can probably, cause like I kind of want to look at this. Oh, yeah, wh yeah. What's what's Kazooie's weight in comparison to this one? You keep saying Kazooie. I, I know, but like, yeah. Banjo. It's weird to not hear you say Banjo. It's okay, yeah. Banjo. Uh, Kazooie smash weight. Cause I want to see how similar it is to me sword. That's fair, yeah. And cause he's surviving it. I was not. Oh, he's heavy. Damn. Uh, let me sword. sword. Oh, the weight's basically the same. Uh, Benjo Kazooie is 106. Lee sword is 100. Wow. Okay. 
so I can actually watch this for DIing tips. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn while you commentate. Or not. <laughs> Who knows? Nice ledge trump. I'm sending the weight to somebody. Just Understandable. Because who knows? Alright, Mario, do your letter combo so I can gather data. That's fair, yeah. Please get a grab. These grenade drops are helping, but also not helping. Look at that, We're it's even grenade. on two stocks right now. Nintendo has officially put a grenade in their game. They've done it before, Snake. Oh, well, like, a... that. That was even more that, realistic grenade, too. That was more realistic. I mean, like, grenade. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. not like, realistic. Sure. I mean, this one looks cartoonish. I get your point. But it's Th a grenade. This set isn't guaranteed. It isn't locked. These players have been very even and it's heated battle so far. And it's been one game each, but each of the games have been really close. It's been surprising. Um, we've been mostly on Battlefield. We're going to hopefully. I mean, this is going to be it, so yeah. Nice this is exciting. For the, for the nobody here, thank you. These grenades are doing so much work. They're doing oh, yeah. so much work. <laughs> yeah. Holy. It's like the only reason I think he's able to not get grabbed in the ladder combat is literally because it just keeps exploding. Yeah, that makes sense. But there's just so many. It's like it's like playing budget snake. But actually, oh my god. But like he doesn't suffer that, yeah. from being a budget. He's actually good. Actually, well, I have no a sweet idea. time to guard the ledge. I have no for the idea. Wonder Wing. Uh, Here comes more grenades. And there's another grenade. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, it's all he's got, but it makes sense. It does. Uh, Looking for that recovery, phenomenal movement. All feathers are Aims in the ledge perfectly. Yeah, Wonder Wings are gone. Wonder Wings are gone. He still has a. He still has a. Kazooie group, getting though. abused into the platform. He's gone. Stock difference. This could decide the game. It will decide the game. Curious how this is gonna go. More grenades, more projectiles. Never play. enough grenades, in my There's opinion. so much projectile play. <laughs> See, this is why I need to learn how to use Shuriken. Yeah. On sword. Yeah. Because, like, if I could play like this. That makes sense, yeah. And not get grabbed by Mario. Because, like, this man has only got grabbed by Mario, like, twice in this entire match. By this point, I got grabbed by Mario six times. That makes, yeah. This cape is moving helpful. There's the shock. Okay. Stock apiece. That was a really good... It's getting close now. That was a really good space crowd, Wonder Wing, yeah. because grab actually beats Wonder Wing. Yeah. Like, they, even if the hitbox is out, it still beats it. So that was True. actually very well. For this good reason, space. the crowd is starting to realize just how close this is. As I say that, the combo! Yeah. Some. What is that? Okay, so it seems like he D's eyes up in a way. He always, yeah. It's, I think it's up in a way. Which makes sense. Because I, because what I was doing was down in a way. That it always feels like you do that, but not always. Not always, but that's majority. There we go. Though to be fair, if I'm DIing and I know I'm gonna be hit for a while without getting a break, I'm just gonna try to smash DI. There. There's your set. And smash DI is actually really easy on Joy Cons. That's well the done, one well thing about Joy Cons. Yeah. It's super easy to do on Joy-Cons, because all you do is grab this, and then you do... <laughs> like, it's so small that it's actually more beneficial to do it on Joy-Con than any other controller. Because what happens is that Smash DI is, oh, one input that jiggles you a bit, but mm. to reset that input, you need to go in a different region. There's four regions. There's the region of up to left, left to down, down to right, and right to up. That, which makes sense, And you have yeah. to cross those regions. So just doing this... You're crossing a ton of regions incredibly fast without losing, mm. like, your fingering on the button. I feel like my annoying catchphrase at this point is, yeah, that makes sense. Because I, <laughs> I I know generally what's going on in the game, but not as much as JJ. It just, yeah. I don't know. I'm here for yapping play-by-play -play in the history of the game, but if you want move stats, that's why you're here. I don't know frame data, though. I'm not asking for frame data. No one's asking for frame data in the middle of an actual match like this. If you were analyzing for a Walter and Awesome Sauce video, then it'd be a different story. Yes. But this is not that. This is Reach. Turn down for Walt is so fun to watch. It's like, I watched Awesome Sauce, and I was like, oh, turn down for Walt. Okay, sure, I'll click on it. It's like, they're like the same person, but different, but it's nice. Because they kind of do the same thing. Yeah. It's refreshing. All right. Waiting for the next dream matchup to go. In the meantime, this stream is sponsored by nobody. Who is up? Nobody at all. Except this Don't mic. ask for it. This mic? No, this mic is not... It's probably it's, 10 it's, years it's old. It's a blue mic. It doesn't really... Yeah. Does blue, is blue still in business? I think so. Really? <laughs> I, don't, I don't fully know, but I feel like I keep seeing the snowballs existing. Yeah. Snowballs? Well, that's... That's accurate. That's, that's what this so is called. This is called I've the snowball I've never mic. heard that before. I've never heard that before. It's the brand name. They're called but it makes blue sense. snowballs. Yeah. Like, it makes sense. Because isn't blue kind of Yeti? They're different companies, know. right? I'm not the mic guy, so I don't know much on this to begin with. I am not... That's the, I've fault. never had a mic in my life. I just play with whatever computer audio comes with whatever. That's that makes sense. That's based. 
Let's reset the score numbers on here. Oh, I'm guessing they're layers? Yep. It's OBS. Ah, that's how it works. That's how that works. Okay. They're all separate elements. I so use OBS only... to record, like, to record. Okay. I play a turn based strategy. I yeah. love playing PvP turn based strategies. So I so record, record my game. That makes sense. For yeah. personal use. Now, you know I use OBS for the dual challenges. Yeah. I hope that Elgato would be That's what I use easier. OBS for, so I don't need to play around with scenes. Yeah, but or they're making graphics. They have, or... they have a thing at the top that never Yeah, they have a thing yeah. at the top. We're semi professional. Let us have this. Semi professional. <laughs> I'd say semi. Semi. <laughs> semi. All right, we have a second viewer in here right now, and I know exactly who that is. Hello, second viewer, who is coming to see us yap about nothing because nobody's playing right now. Damn, two viewers? That's crazy. That's the best of one of them. It's this room. Yeah. The second one is the only person watching, which is Gray. Hi, Gray. You are the only person right now. There's no way you know who. I texted them, and they said they're watching. So that I know they're watching. Oh. That's what I was sending the link to. I was like, hey, I'm yapping for now. If you want to hear me yap, they're like, sure. So yeah, they, we're yapping. We're let, just me, let, me, let me open Twitch and see if he... And I am he's not in chat. to DI. If you hear me, send something random in chat. I'm not even kidding. Just say, like, hi or something. Like yes. Go, it, go it weird. It really doesn't matter what you send. I don't even know if he has a Twitch account, so that might actually... Who knows? Who knows? No, that's from 20 minutes into the stream. Someone yelled Wario Man early on, oh. which is his final smash. <laughs> Wario Man! It's a man, but he's Wario. He's already a man! What? <laughs> you just gotta make sure that you're specific. I don't feel like I need to be specific. I feel like I need to be better at this game. I need to be I feel better at You're I need so to good, know. shut up. I need to know how to DI Mario's yeah, That's such a good run to it. Alright, sure. No, okay. Because he took thing, you out of winners, yeah. One thing that I'm actually okay at is Smash DIing Steve's jab. I can get out of it consistently by like the third jab, which I think is okay. Because as we know, Steve just jabs you five times and then spikes you off stage. At least he does that with fast fallers. Nifty. Who is the fastest falling character in the game? Fox, probably? Fox. There we go. He's the stats guy, so he'll keep it. And then me brawling? Fox? And then I think it's a, it's a three-way tie. I'm not sure if Brawler's in there, but I know two of the characters in it are DDD and Piranha Plant. Fun fact. Wait, Piranha Plant's a fast follower? Piranha Plant's a fast follower. That tracks. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know he's a plant, but she was, what? She was also supposed to be a triple jump. She was a triple jumper and got day one patched out. I forgot that jump. was a thing for a brief moment. Rob. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> Rob is different. Bad joke. You got so robbed with the plant. Uh, yeah. no. Triple jump plant would be so cool. We got robbed. Even if you actually, apparently, if you play with spirits on and take a triple jump spirit, Ooh, you okay. can still see the animation for it. There's a different animation. There's a different for animation it? for triple jump. I yeah. mean, like, I sort of get it why they took it out because it's a pot. But like, still, <laughs> like, I'm not sure triple jumping really suits plant, but like, you took away like uh, the uh, dumbest uh, build confirming uh, up air up air for two eight uh, or for two eight uh, up air. Uh, up air. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that is kind of, that's kind of funny. You took away the dumbest kill. I mean, I still think it's a kill confirm if it's tight enough, but it's like frame perfect, so. Damn. Up air, up air, up air, but has to be one of my... Yeah, no, I know nothing about plant uh, yeah, other than up B just doesn't work half the time. With, like, a, with capturing, like, you know, keeping an opponent in. I mean, I sort of have the same thing. I'm still here. Sword, Give me a second. It's like, no, it's <laughs> at, at, least, at least with me, Sword, I, I, can, I can aerial control it so I can guarantee that if I'm skilled enough and I know they're DI, they can't escape. You know the funny thing, too? Up is actually technically one of Plant's best out of shield labs. Because Footstool and Up is the only true thing out of Up. Wait a minute. I, wait, Up hits slightly below them? Yeah. And it stalls. It stalls the big thing. Oh. Oh, also, up these spikes as a single frame of a spike hitbox. I've killed people with it. It kills green. At the beginning? Yeah. Huh? Don't, 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 don't. No, no, no. I'm not going to mention I anything. I killed them at zero with it. I mean, I'm playing low tier too, so I understand. I killed, I killed someone at zero. I've killed people at zero with it. It's so funny. Updating the UI. Is it? It's like the reasoning right. that oh, it's a pot, so it dips down before it goes off. Well, no, Great, Rob. All right. Gray, if you can hear me, say pancake. I'm I'm totally playing with you, but just say it. It's so bad. I'm guessing it's like slightly reactable if they know it's coming. 
Or, 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 or they put okay. in hit stun. They're in, they're in hit stun? They're, they're in hit stun? Damn. You know what's funny? Plant Nair and Uppy both spike, and they're both debatably better spikes than her down here. Wait, whoa, well, wait, neutral air? I thought that was just the spinny spin. Yeah, if you trade with a spinny Yay, thank you, good sir. Again. I know there's a lot of delay right now, but huh? thank you. <laughs> Man, I, I never see plant players, so I don't know how they Anyways, this is going to be fun. All right, sword time, let's do it. <laughs> Damn, I had no idea. Thank you. All right, we, we are in for Toon Link and Sephiroth. Speaking of low tiers. There you go. This was fun for our side bracket earlier for those who missed it. Toon Link was a, a prominent feature for about half a second. <laughs> I wish I was good with projectiles so I could play Toon Link. That makes sense. Although in the mind, in the in the hive mind of Sentinel, the low t projectile bracket is hopefully going to be a thing at some point. No projectile. No projectile. That's going to be very fun. Wait, wait, is that actually like planned to be a thing? I, I is that like it. Policy? Possibly a rider. It's hypothetical. Possibly oh, okay, a rider. Cool. Cool. Okay. It's not a thing for here, but popular for rider. Nifty. All right. So these two players have have some history. They played each other quite a few times back when hyperspace was around. Uh, this matchup has been, I think it's Omicloud's favorite overall. He has more wins, but uh, Drillbog has brought it close a lot. Even timing out his Sonic on one occasion. Yeah. What? It's happened. It's, it's happened. happened. <laughs> I wasn't around for it, but yeah. It's Damn. Happened. I still remember that. That's just the coolest thing. Ooh. I mean, not phenomenal move from Sephiroth. Like, it was the coolest thing. Down to two stocks. Drillbug is flanking a little bit, getting around it, and landing that back air. Kodog's already there for defensive mode now. Now that he knows that he has a lead, he's taking a bit of a stance back. Yep. We'll see going for those bombs lead. often, which makes sense. He's, he's already shown he's willing to time them out once. He's willing to do it again. Bulldog almost Ooh. to the edge of the stage again on 60. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's confirmed. We're down to one already. Krildog. Unbelievable. An incredible down to off stage. Taking him out. I do kind of wonder who wins this. Who wins this match? It seems yeah. pretty clear to begin with, but we're going to see. I mean, I would assume Sephiroth because counter up The thing is. My basic brain just goes sword length. The thing and is, that's all I think about. The thing is, I think this is, I think this is slightly Sephiroth favorite due to the sword. Yeah. However, Toon Link does also have stuff. Like uh, know. boomerang uh, forward air kill confirm, which works yeah. super early on Sephiroth. You can also get around the counter at ledge by using his tether recovery. And isn't like, and I feel like Toon Link doesn't really have a disadvantage about going close. It's just go not. Side, you gotta defend this well. Neither of them really want to be super close in this match. I guess up. Toon Link prefers it between the two. Dodging a bit. I would the think because like yeah. they don't, they don't have like crazy sour spots. Like no, Sephiroth. Does. Toon Link does have a lot of buttons that like he's going for. Have big okay. Ooh, okay. Sephiroth. Great slash. But yeah, no, these players have history. They've gone back and forth quite a few times. And so to yeah. see them on this stage battling it out, it's good to see. It's always awesome. good to see. This Krolog is the is first good. time I've seen Amic Bob's uh, Toon Link against Krolog. That was okay, usually yeah. the Sonic, I remember, at that, Hyperspace. Yeah, cool. Krolog is realizing the situation is in right now, but he has a nice stock taken from him. He's taking a more offensive route. I mean, he's working for a second, stealing his bombs Krolog and taking off those slashes when he could. But the he does yeah. give up advantage. This is the problem here. I can't figure out exactly what's using the shield. So defensive-wise, Autobob's doing a great job <coughs> keeping his distance from these giant slashes. The thing is, this... Oh my god. Okay. This Ooh, that was good close. Guy. Phenomenal DI. This is also a bit of a mix match. Autobob famously has a turtle play style, while uh, Krilldog can apply a lot of shield pressure really easily. Shielding against Sephiroth is a dangerous game. It really but, is. But uh, Toonling kind of needs to do it. It's, uh, a risk oh, every there time. There we go. In that Second time it works. For it. Well done. First time he just had to go for it again. First game for Pro. Toon Link's stubby moves kind of coming back to haunt him in the set. Yeah. Just kind of. <laughs> Forward air is still crazy powerful. Though. Forward air is really powerful, but he's. Uh, Krillog, especially with wings, with his maneuvering around the boomerang at ledge, he's yeah. able to deal with that. I mean, without boomerang or bomb, he has to get raw forward air, like, usually to be able to kill like yeah. that. But like, or some th sort of ledge trap. Mm -hmm. The thing is, though, Toon Link does, like, while Toon Link traditionally struggles killing, Sephiroth is light enough that a lot of his raw options will kill significantly earlier, as well as his kill confirmed. Actually, what is Sephiroth's weight? Sephiroth's weight, he's like, bottom, he's like bottom, like, five, huh? We're hearing as light as Pikachu. So fifth lightest in the game, tied for fifth lightest in cool. the game. Cool, okay. That's, that explains my matchups with him. Okay, I'm a Pikachu main, so. Oh, great. Yeah, cool. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Thank damn, you. it's the same as It's okay, I don't expect Pikachu to be good at this. I'm just here to watch because I enjoy the game. 
Give me the 79. way. So 79. Cool. Ali Bell kind of takes the advantage here a little yeah. bit. He's using, uh, he's kind of spacing even farther than Seth Rock's sword. He's using his, most of his projectiles, baiting Quill Dog too close there as he gets the punch out of shield, keeping him at ledge, but he does have wing, Ooh. jumping into the border. Well done. Omic Bob closes out the first stock, taking a pretty big lead. And with his defensive play style, it will be hard for Quill Dog to crawl this back. Only down a stock though, Quill Dog's Really good at taking those. And he shines a little more. He's trying to look for a place to put the curse at all. There's the curse. Ideal in this situation. To get some distance and make sure that they're... Okay. The shield is forced there. You gotta wonder if you can pull something out from that, but he just seems too pressured right now to even do it. Which is crazy, because he has the lead. I'm even in a situation like this, just the, the state that we're at winter semis, the pressure doesn't let up any time. Bob mostly trying to stay away here, but getting in for a second, getting in a little bit of chip damage. That seems to be his goal here. Getting some chip damage to stock. Going for the nair, not quite not connecting. Happening. Never gonna happen like that. Ooh, good throw. He's taking his time with those bombs. Krilla going the for bomb. a risky option. Everyone. Good parry. Jumping against Toon Link with Bomb in hand is a scary prospect. Krill yeah. Log, though, doing it perfectly. Z catching bomb it in catching the air. Again. Going for the throw in a second, probably. He's gonna go. And he said, okay. The bomb Krill throws Log. are hard to do when it's the other person. One wing is out. He's in his danger mode. Things are gonna hit harder. He's got that extra Krill jump Log. now. Krill Log taking a lot of risks here. Ooh. Trying to crawl it wow. back. And he finds the forward air. Okay, okay. I'm at Bomb now. Now up two stocks. Only down only down 88% so far. Man, you sound like an. Like a, like Crazy We're kind of there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have the advantage of the okay. playoff, but you also know their history, which is very mm -hmm. nice to see in action. Thank you. Guys, we're at the point where Abibov knows that there's a chance that he can take this game, and Curl Dog is realizing we're going to game three, possibly. This is the danger now of realizing the position you're but in. But he does hold on so to He's going ledge, defensive. Barely Mega surviving. Flare coming through. Almost charging for the Giga Flare. You saw him go for it for a second. He was predicting Amikov going low, and he, he was. plays the forward air, taking the stock. Now, the thing is, while, while Amikov is up big, Krillog can take stock so early with Sephiroth. It only takes a handful of attacks. Like, that is a scary down prospect. Down hit. Retreating down to ledge, but that puts him in range of Sephiroth's ledge it's trap flash. and getting off the ledge. Trying for these arrows, but they're just not connecting anytime soon. Shine again. Go to the that forward air. air. Scaling Arrow it just look, a little back bit. Back to the edge, almost a miss. Scaling it just a little bit. But he made it. He's looking for an outside. There's a shine. There's enough there. <coughs> oh, that's brutal angle. Back to oh. slash. Octo slash. Oh. Hit again. Oh, Almost an SD, he oh, saved it, there's the hit! We are and down to one stock dog. each, folks. Showing he's got that dog in him. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> Guys, he's got that cruel dog in him. We are one stock apiece, but 129 one for Sephiroth. But Sephiroth just closed out that game in an instant. It could go, it could go either way here. <laughs> this is the tension I live for. <laughs> Amic Bob going in, going against his turtle style and rushing in there, Con trying to close this out right now. Two, two curse remaining. This is rough to start with. Getting in there. If that was forward or that was... Arrow's that not going to hit. Not right going there, but that oh, forward. Oh, that's it. it. That's it. Going uh, one one. These two Central Jersey legends going to another game We're three. We're going to game three. Smashville and Small Battle could have been banned. We're waiting to see the decision for stage. This is probably the, this is probably the coolest set between two... Typical zoner characters that I've, right, I've yeah. seen in a long time. And we are going with Battlefields for our final Battlefield game. Battlefield for the finale. Speak to that. What do you think that stage is going to bring to this? Uh, I know it, I know it's not Amic Bob's favorite stage. I know Amic Bob doesn't love Battlefield. However, he has... <laughs> we see him looking over this. Is However, he has beaten me on Battlefield more than once, so... Sentinel has the salt now. We expect this. Mm -hmm. Just like... The thing is, too, Krillin's got to be wary of, like, Toon Link up there. Like, Krillin gets stuck on a platform. Platforms are yeah. sticky in this game. Mm -hmm. He can get stuck on a platform. Toon Link getting a ton of damage. Good up here, yeah. Sephiroth being able to really fire back. Here we go, people. Winner semis, game three. Three games for three platforms. This is going to be where they need to pull it all out. And we're not even close to the end of the tournament yet. Krillog holding center stage really well here. Avoiding Omnibus projectile until that boomerang connects. Once again, that boomerang is going to be... It's gonna be Krillog's biggest adversary this game. More than the sword, more than the pen, it's gonna be the boomerang! Oh my god, oh, amazing forward air again. The Almost arrows are gonna hit one of these days. We're not sure when. Krill's edge game remains pretty well done, the way he recovers every time. It's okay. And it's keeping him alive as much as he can, as he keeps getting knocked to the stage by countless forward airs, Ooh, forward oh A's, oh, and bombs. Oh, first stock gone, Bob, straight up into the sky. Krillog looking to fire back here. But he's stuck on the platforms once again. Interesting Shine, choice, but top. it's oh my god, that that reach is nuts. In but my it's opinion. proving to me. I remember my set against Amikov yeah. uh, last time, where I lost narrowly on this stage. 
ultimately the main reason was because Omnithob was able to trap me atop these platforms and just keep getting his big aerials that do a ton of damage, that a ton sense, of yeah. kill power. And against Sethiroth especially, he's going to be dying early from those, so he's got to be extra careful on these platforms. Omnithob... Yeah, going to the edge again. The Octa Slash is going to be what saves him every single time. He's going for the top. He's the up there, he's close. Not no it. star KO. You were looking oh. for it. Out to the right, he's charging the Mega Flare. A miss. Up to return. I'm not going to even try to say what that projectile is called. That's fair, yeah. They have different names for flares, yeah. <laughs> That's totally fair. They are trading scale. blows in air. We're watching a DBZ battle. Yes, the I'm blue sure. orb. This is nuts, guys. <laughs> the blue orb. <laughs> blue orb, which, by the way, is what we Ooh, just call Sonic. Accidental full school, we like to see it. What do you mean accidental? With Omicbob, everything's intentional. There we go. Always There's always, always call a plan. It. Always There's always a scheme. It. So then why does he die? Why does he die? It's all part of the bigger plot. I'm but sure it is. Make it interesting. But, but what about that raise? To raise viewership. <laughs> Oh, but the lead is going away. That's an SD. Wow. No more Not an SD. Yeah, no. SD. The arrow caught his the jump. Arrow caught his jump. I missed that. That's crazy. Amic Bob. Sentinel's claim of a plan there. is going into the drain. We are looking at a possible win right now from Amic Bob. What do you? Th You're wrong. That's all I have to say. He doesn't seem to have this all planned as you think he does. This could be it. <laughs> he could get dropped to lose oh, as I, we're speaking. Oh, I think. What? Oh, I think. He's oh. But he's got the chance. He's playing dangerous on the ledge because he knows exactly how far he has to reach. The wing is here. out. But he's going to get back here by Krill Dog. His abilities are up to immediately. Up that slash with one wing was all he needed to take him out. He's got. He's got a little bit of ways to curl back, but we've seen Krill Dog do better. We really have. Krill Dog, the underdog, is about to bring it. Home. It could bring it home here. Another fair. He's got a lot to fight back, but we've seen him do. We've seen him do worse. We've seen him do better. He, Krill Dog always, when everyone's counting him out, he always makes a crazy run at the end. Yo, and so we're crazy today. Do a crazy down there. Will we see it today? Do a flip. <laughs> it just sounds, do it feels like that kind of vibe. Amikbop pulling him at ledge. This bomb in hand is scary. One hit from that bomb, and that could be the game. But Krill Dog. Right we don't know how far a bomb's going to be. Fighting it back. But another hit's going to take that away. 106 oh. now. Close. Calling it close. Reactions are crazy. Down smash. Catching him. He's going for the... Mega misses. Nope. He, he took out base. the last second he canceled he because base. he knew he needed a close hit. Oh Phenomenal God. parry. Close again. There's the grab. He will live that. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, crazy no, matching over that. here. <laughs> Recovery again. Again. He knows There's how far he can go. There's the from Krill Dog at ledge. He is playing to the blast zone like a seasoned professional. This man knows every inch of this that air. Will, that, that's there. That's there. He used it so infrequently well, that every single time he used it, he got a reward out. Done. Uh, Oh, it's sweet. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Five. I'm like, I'm getting a okay. crazy good thank, stairs. Thank God it's not over. This takes so fun to commentate. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Your commentary is really good. Content. Thank you. you. Yeah, you're yeah. really good. Thank you. I've commented y'all a lot at this point. You really have. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Some point I'm gonna get back into this and feel more comfortable. But at this point. I hand all the history speech over to Sentinel. You have all of the context of their past matches. You know the insides and outs mm -hmm. of what they do Except to each other. <laughs> yeah. Both of these players have Okay. Have it. They both have like this rivalry. They go back and forth. They have these close sets all the time. Krill Dog is not going to trust me. I know him. He is not going to be content. That's okay. With the ending of that last That's game. That's what we want on stream right now. To, he's going to want to battle back here. Because for some people, you see this is a set point, but this doesn't have to be a set point. This could be something more. He's taking his time right now. Krill Dog, more, more ledge. purple skittles. Uh, slow start to this smash. Calling them purple skittles is cursed, and I will talk to you about that later. Oh, We're going for he, that the course now. Smash there, that We're not kicking anyone else off the commentary today. Ooh. Did someone get kicked? No, not today. Not, not today. Okay, good. Yeah. Wait, it's happened before? Makes sense. He's looking at it like it wasn't him. <laughs> said, no, I understand. <laughs> right. Actually, I because of how Toon Link is handling with these purple skittles, honestly, I would love to see. Keep saying more... it, and there will be hands. I'm oh, not even. <laughs> what, what is it called then? Well, it's Kr called Curse. It's literally just called Curse. It's called Curse. Okay. So I'm starting to see Krill Dog's. Uh, I'm starting to see Krill Dog's. If I'm decision. wrong, somebody, no one's watching. It's I'm fine. starting to see Krill Dog's decision making with, uh, with this stage. He's kind of holding center here. Forcing Amic Bob to the outskirts of the stage where he can pressure with up air and back air. Both big kill moves that cover a lot of space, and Amic Bob has to maneuver around, it has to be careful around. Oh, we're up to five viewers now. We actually uh, have more people watching. To it's see us. A it's totally us. <laughs> of curse into a shield break F smash. Because Toon Link keeps shielding those curses. Like Keep nothing. that in mind, you might be onto something. I, I like the idea of that a lot right now. The defensiveness is going well for shields and shines from Scroll Dog. 
but he needs to land a hit to get some sort of stock lead. Speak of the devil, we're going in the opposite direction. We need an Amic Baba overlay. Oh, never mind. We're matching. We're two stocks each. Is that a shield poke? That was not. No, he no, caught no, the no, jump. No, that was, he he caught the, the, the jump on the exact frame he jumped out. Amazing. That was. He caught the shield drop. That was really Actually, smart. I think that was Perfect like frame timing. two or frame three. God damn. These shines are taking Toon Link up and away to percentage. What? I'm going to holding center, though. getting these huge conversions with a ton of damage out of him. Mm. I mean, a ton of damage oh. by Toon Link. Versus on for two. He could go for another, but he's not going he's to. He's playing really well, aggressive with the orbs. Wing is out. Stronger hits are in play. And he's trying to go for grabbing those bombs. You can see so him trying to consider whether or not he should grab them, but back in the way at the last second because he's got to figure out how to throw them in the tell, situation. You can also tell Amic Bob is a little bit scared to approach here. Using a lot of aerials! Ooh, and that's why! That's why he's scared he to approach. On, the, reach, on the, flat. the reach is nothing to be competed with for anybody in the entire game. There's a reason why you'd be scared to approach Sephiroth in Final Fantasy or in Smash. There's just a reason <laughs> to the game. He's oh, it's too big. Jump but he it up with that or I guess... Guys, we're dead even. We're dead I'm even losing here. my mind. Dude, <laughs> Krill, Dog's, Krill Dog's winner's run on the oh, line here. What will he do? That's what he's doing. He'll he's landing good land shots. Up. He's holding curse down. Mm -hmm. Shields were good there. He kind of he perfect shielded that in my opinion. But Krill Krill seems to, what his game plan seems to be is to shine. hold that center. Forward air, bomb to the place, throwing. Oh, he has a ball. Like throw, shield. Oh. There's the drop. The thing is, while Toon Link does have these Going projectiles the that can contest Sephiroth in range on this stage, they don't have the same threat from very far yeah. away. Toon Link does have to be near them for them to get the same threat value. That's while Sephiroth could hit the very tip of a sword and that could be the stock. That's the problem. Toon Link's heavy hits are a mid-range character. And the hook shot has always got to keep him alive right now at 90%. He's going Krill for the Krill down, down air. Trapping, trying to keep the edge clear of this oh, man. There's the hits! Oh, There's the hit. He He's in the same dead the guy. His jump's gone! Bomb coming back for the jump. He does get that. the bomb again. This is close Once as again, ever. He's jumping to the side. Pushing him out Ryan's going to kill him. There we go. <laughs> we got more to the right outside. Now. This is absolutely insane. Anything has to come out right now for him to survive this. This game could be over. That's oh, it. Okay. okay. Game five. game five. We are going to game, game five, five in winner's semifinals. This is out of control. A hot settler, baby. You got to say Lock it. in. Hot whoop, settler. Whoop. <laughs> Lock in. Lock in. Lock in. This is this is a this is a hyperspace class. And game. we're this switching back to PS2 for up. game five. Ah. Sorry, this stage just gives me trauma, but it's okay. Eo, Menchu, if you guys are watching this right now, I know nope. you're proud. We have five people. Oh, Menchu's on. Menchu's watching, I think. Menchu's watching. Menchu, I Menchu's know you're watching. proud right now. Menchu's watching. I know oh, you're proud right now. Oh, and Eo is too. I'm one of them. Oh, yeah, I hate five. Hi, good. guys. If you can hear us in chat, say something stupid like, like Menchu saying Wario Man in 20 minutes in. Folks, we're in for game five. Game five. Going back to PS2. I'm bad at names. Yeah. I'm, I'm Casey. Cool. Casey's here with Sentinel, Jaku, and Toadie One to see what the hell happens. Like I'm very curious. Because I would think like small battlefield. Even cool. blows to begin with. Awesome. Toon Link is going to keep him in the air and juggle him however long he can. Amic Bob playing kind. Amic Bob playing kind of aggressively to start off this match. But the, I would but say. the main thing is Krill 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 able to force Amic Bob to the outskirts here. Like look at him. Yeah. Holding center stage, meaning Amic Bob is in a lot more danger. <laughs> stage control on. You can tell he's kind of freaking out. Why he's going as aggressive as he is, and it makes sense with how much Krill's keeping him at the edge right now and keeping himself at the edge. I keep saying it, Krill Dog is a master of the Blast Zone with his recoveries. Mm -hmm. He plays to the air so much because he knows he can. Octo Slash is like tight Amic with Bob. him. Master of the Blast Zone, that's kind of a bar. I know. <laughs> Amic Bob trying to close some distance here, but he is in Sethroth's threat, threat range. Oh my god, he's he shining for the bomb. To get in Sethroth's threat range, he has to put Sethroth in his oh, threat phenomenal range. Forward air. He's going for Flare. That, forward air. that did not hit. Oh, oh it's a terrible missed yeah. counter. Bomb. Recovery. Holding center, oh Amic Bob. Krill is acting there. very defensive and figuring out what to do with these flares Both over time because he doesn't know what to do with them. It makes sense. <laughs> Both I'm shortening names. Yeah. You have to. Both players here are at kill percent. Oh. Oh. Three, two. Go Would you prefer I say dollar sign Krill Dog dollar sign? No, people just call him Krill Dog. Yeah, I know, but I. I shorten because it makes it easier dog, to get through he's lines got that dog listen, You say Krill or Dog. Listen, I feel like Krill Dog the way my surrounds me. We got Bob and Krill. Krill Dog <laughs> that feels like a Cartoon Krill Network duo. Right, but the he, thing is, who, if you want to have a nickname for Amic Bob, call him the Bob. The Bob, okay. How the is, Bob now. How is Krill Dog going to secure he this KO? He's that's busy, really, he's locked That seems to be in. the main thing on his mind. But Wayne Amic, is out. But now with the lead, Amic Bob can afford to play way more oh. aggress aggressively, way more dangerously. Which is funny, because he's already playing aggressive to begin with. So this is kind of... <laughs> oh, getting the green. great up there. Wow, a Dude, green KO to Bob possibly finish this set. Alright, Curl Dog locking in. Here's the thing, we got triple ones right now for Amikov, who has not gotten hit in a while definitively. 
The win is already back out for Sephiroth because he knows what kind of situation he's in. We yeah. could be done in seconds. And his juggling has been range, so good. And this posing such a threat. Give him Forward the air. Are you going to get the Bottom side, Octa Slash. Good shield up to okay. the side. Krilla gets off ledge Bomb and Boomerang. Shield. He's Perfect. got a lot of ground to make up. Bomb again. And, oh, there with the up air, but he close, misses. Close, close this is losing it. This is going crazy. We're going to the bottom. Oh, the oh armor. Okay. All right. Oh, that's what he needs. Star KO to bring Krillog got two. one last chance. Amic, Amic Bob's first stock down. Krillog having a lot to battle back here. But once again, we've seen him do it. What will we see this game through? He says, I thought EO was 32. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what? EO, EO. Wait, wait, Krillog, can I make a comeback, though? Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, no, cool look. That's I'm always got for right a second. Now. Mega Flare miss. Oh, going for the forward air. Forward air again. He's he trying his best wing. to get some sort of poke on this guy. Keeping but it's so ledge. hard. He has faster um, movement, armor on the smash attack. Bob's going great with the shields right now. It seems that he's the one putting on the aggression now, even though he's on his last legs. He's the oh, one that's going to be good. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, that's Getting the up smash and closing out the set. 3-2 Amic Bob. The best set of the night. Wow, we're not even done yet. <laughs> yeah, we're not even done. Not even close to done. It is not even over. Stay tuned, especially Please you Please take your it. water break. <laughs> wow, amazing. For those who are around right now, um, yeah, we like talking. No shit, but it's fun. I know. JJ, lean in and tell us how you felt about that match, because that was so cool. That was, that was, that was cool. I like that. That was, that was a good match. <laughs> well... Done. Definitely better you than my low tier, uh, oh, terrible. Taking the moment to deprecate uh, yourself. Hell always. yeah! You why not? Many reasons why not. You don't need to. That's <laughs> why not? Hell you don't yeah! Need to. Oh, Xavier, you're coming in? Sweet. All right. All right. Who's next? Next. Our next match, I believe, is Xavier and Ice on Deck. Who? Ice on Deck, the man who just beat Sentinel. There is no deck. Oh my God! <laughs> How dare you! All right, let's reset our overlays and get locked in for a second. All right, ice on deck. Let's do it. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, go for it. We got it covered. All right. Okay. 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 Put in our names. <laughs> Sentinel, your defeater's up. Your defeater's up against Xavier. Uh, I let's check. Don't. Don't tap the snowball. You're up against Moses. Yeah, I know. Moses Strizbob. Yeah, Steve's yeah. good to me too. Yeah. So this is gonna be tough. Are you playing against a Steve? Like, do I play? No. Yeah. Sure. All right. Some people have left. Steve. Oh. Some people have left, but for those who are still around, <laughs> welcome back to Winter <laughs> Semis. We're here with Min Min and Mario, Ice on Deck, and Xavier. This is gonna be interesting. Oh, it's people have been talking a lot about Min Min today. How they like, how they don't like the Reach being weird, the Dragon being weird, everything about Juggernaut. But we're doing the match now, and we all know Xavier's reputation. So this is gonna be good no matter what. I'm here with, with JJ to just see what's going on. <laughs> JJ, talk to us about your experience with Mario's ladders. And also, don't die on set. Oh my god. Wow. <coughs> Sorry guys, we're experiencing a casualty alive on air. I'm glad nobody's watching. Shoebop? Shoe why are you saying Shoebopper? He's not... He, he's not playing. What are you... Benchu? What's going on? <laughs> Sentinel's not here right now. I'm trying to talk to somebody else. I don't think you know who I am. Sentinel's Sen Sen playing a friend in the melee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in the back on melee. I'm gonna stop talking, because I'll keep doing it. I'm gonna damage my throat. That's fair. I've damaged my throat so long enough now that it's fine. Menchu, you seem cool. I don't know who you are. People are talking about you. So if you're here, hi. Good to see you. Good to hear from you. We're gonna do this match together. This is gonna be cool. All right. Nimmin's high in percentage right now, looking for a good reach in this moment. Mario knows exactly how to take people with this combos, though. I'm curious to see how this is gonna play out. I haven't seen this matchup in a, honestly, in a while. It's been a bit. A close character versus a long range character. You gotta wonder how that's gonna go. 
Flood used well, something I've never been able to do in my life, taking the first stock. Okay. Again, playing by the ledges as if they have everything to lose, which I guess makes sense as their first game. But I don't have nearly the balls to do that. I'm gonna just full honesty, I don't have that in me. I don't know when I will. Reach again, playing to the top. Moving the mic a bit, because I can. All right, all right, all right. Who's in here right now? Does it say? It does, cool. All right. Oh my god, off the ledge. 2-2, two, two. okay. Doing good so far on both sides. Looking for shots at the ledges, trying to keep people away from the center. Which sounds obvious when you say it like that. And again, I realize this is my first time commentating in a long time. But, you know, it's fun. I'm doing my best. I'm enjoying what I'm watching. That's all we're doing here. We're seeing a close character and a long character. It's interesting. What do you want to rely on those back jumps, looking for ways to get around and float through the air. Get some combos on this guy. His fireball aim is always impecular. It, that's not the word, but you know what I mean. Good down B. He's looking for the hit to keep him off the stage at 170. Good grab to the ledge. Going for the side. More of the airs. Launching more of his arms in different directions. That Juggernaut is going to do a lot if he gets higher, but he's dead, so it doesn't matter. We're down a stock for him. This could determine the first game. Ooh, good up, B. Keeping him at wit's end, keeping him at the end of the stage. We're going to the top again. Mimin's bet at this point seems to be to keep him to the top of the stage, but again, all he can do is reach to the sides. That must not be the way, only way he can kill him. Mario's already landing combos again, though. Out of control. We gotta wonder what's gonna happen right now. And I think it's me probably just speaking. It's like, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm legit wondering. <laughs> Waiting for the play out. There's the Juggernaut. Looking for the reach, change of hand, miss. Back to the ledge, there's the hit of Juggernaut. And we're down to one stock each. Getting close again. A bit too close for comfort in my opinion. Trying to see the dragon's gonna play out a second. The Jumbotron on the back, trying to keep up fervently with that rapid movements of Xavier. Bouncing around the stage, avoiding the lawn arms. It's all he can do right now to stay out of the reach, but he's landing phenomenal kicks that have gotten him to 88. This could do it if he does this well enough. Going for the combo. There's the kick to the side. Second kick. Going for another. Good one. Recovery. A 90% difference. Okay. Take that to 70. Still significant enough where Xavier's got room to grow and room to show. Like, that That could be it. That's it. Okay. Game one, game one, game one. Well done. Folks, I'm going to stop for a second because water. Reminder to hydrate. I don't have water. I have to go to a fountain. Be responsible, kids. What's good, Gray? What's good, Dash? Just got back from the water fountain from Hell Hydration because I don't have a water bottle right now. I'm gonna fill one soon, but for now I'm good. Hey, Still yo, here. is the audio balancing all right for you guys? It normally is. They deal with this ahead of time. This looks okay. They're not expecting much volume from the gameplay, so it's fine, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Sweet. Gray's leaving to make a Twitch account, which is like, good. Good, good, good. Get yourself a handle. For those watching, we're still stuck in the middle of winter semis between Ice on Deck and Xavier RTO. Looking for something to come out of this that could get the game going in a different direction. I did not update the score, that's on me. There's Xavier's first point. For those who can't see right now, Super Well, actually, no, you can. The cameras are on them. 
Ice is locked in. You never see a lock in like you do with this man. His stare goes directly into the pixels of this screen. He knows exactly what he's doing at all times. And he's still struggling a lot. That just shows the skill level of this man with Mario of all characters. It, it makes sense, but like still. I think my problem here is that I never understood just how good Mario as a character could be. And I underestimated him a lot because of how he is in other games. He's very low level. But yeah, that's the point. Mario's always an all-around... They call him an all-around character in every game that he's in. He's the base model for games like Mario Kart, Mario Sports Games, Smash Bros. Any game that Mario's in, he's normally like the basic stats thing, and then Luigi's like a few te tweaks here and there, but they're always the basic characters to get yourselves it's actually, used to. It's actually kind of funny, because Smash technically has two base characters, that being Mario and then Kirby. Yes, Kirby has always been known as the, as the, the beginner's character, which makes sense. As well as Mario. Actually. Yeah. Because no, kind of their moves are how, understandable for a lot of people. Though I do find it funny how Mario is a quote unquote beginner character, yet I don't think the Ooh, others my God, the can forward do smash. turnaround back airs. Two stock lead to head up to two. Reminder, we're still going best three of five, so we're not done yet. I'm curious how this is going to play out. Going for stage bands now. I guess I'm just going for it. All right, we're up for Battlefield. Final game, possibly. Who knows? Oh boy. Curious for the events of this night to continue. Because we're moving into this. It's going to be a late night for me. I'm playing a, an obscure Wii U game after this. So, when I say I got better things to do, it's purely subjective. And you can take that from us playing Legend of Zelda Battle Quest. <laughs> Just take our word. Heading into game three of possibly five for winner semis, Ice on Deck V Xavier. Moving in with Rosalina now, a shifting character, a shifting style. We will see how this plays out. All right. Unless I'm blind and Rosalina's just being played. I really, I'm out of it, guys. I'm going to be honest. I'm just not here. I'm not here. I am, though. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, match is even so far. But Mario's taking a few more hits than I think he would like to take. It's probably the differing move in the Luma right now that's taking it all. Never mind. He's getting good grabs and throws, and Luma's already dead. Okay. Commentator's curse is already in effect, and I've been doing this today only, so, you know, I feel real sophisticated now, I feel special, I know I shouldn't, but, what can I say, I got the power, Luma's doing his best out there, trying to land some hits on the side, taking up air, shields, strong shields, getting his time, nothing from that, four full seconds of just going against the shields and nothing coming from it, trying to play to the edge now, it feels like, going to the left side of the stage, up to the top, Waving of wand, trying to produce some effects here. I'm not as familiar with Rosalina's moves besides like some of her specials, but like, it's hard. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you, you, nah. I would never. <laughs> Mario Galaxy, favorite Luma. game. I don't have that kind of bias. I'm not that kind of person. Well, to be fair, Mario Galaxy Lumas are fine because they're not. Okay. Now that Polaris is in the game, the cool black Luma from the original game. Don't kill him. He's the best character in the game. Yeah, kill all. Of them. You're terrible. Though, though, I, I mean, kill all of them in terms of like. Rosalina's personal guard. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. The normal ones that are in the galaxy, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, They're yeah. Chilling. yeah. Well, he's the but cool the one. one. He's literally her guardian in the game. He's but her, like, he's her second in command in the actual game. Okay, fine. Fine, JJ hates stars, and we're gonna. Well, talk about are cool. Just not when they can hit me across the stage. Well, that's I their point! Rosalina and not Luma. Have you never played Co Star in Galaxy 2? how that works. The Luma goes out and he hits they like, actually, to be fair though, I he kicks do, Goombas. It's very funny. I actually do like the concept of Rosalina and the Luma. I think it's really funny. It's adorable. It's great. It was one of the better things to bring to Smash 4 since they, since they, since they ended up forgetting about Galaxy for Brawl. So, yeah. Thank you, Gray. Hey, we got Gray in here. Let's go. I agree with you. <clears throat> All right. Our bracket is winding down as setups are being taken down around us, but the game remains the same at the highest peaks of these brackets right now. Winter semi still going strong. Let's try to get back into this match. We're noticing Mario is having a bit of a struggle right now. He's falling down a bit of an SD, it would feel like. Kind of missed the ledge. I'm not sure how to fully like dissect that one. But regardless, it means that Ice on Deck has a chance to take a stock here. And that's most all that matters. As a reminder, this match's winner will go on to face Ob McBob in winner's finals which will lead to grand finals, which are still going on in the loser brackets all around us in this room, live in the business building. Trying to do what he can here to get some more progress here. Okay, there's the stock difference. Rosalina's gone. 
And that brings us to one stock each, which means that there's still a chance that Xavier can take this and give us another 3-0 from his magical wedding hat. Who knows what's going to happen? I mean, he does, it feels like. It feels like Xavier can predict the future sometimes. We'll see in a second. Here we go. Going for the dive. Fireballs again. Good parry. Forward airs all around as an up air. Another one. Going for the top platform. Good shield. Out to the side. Back air. Back air. Nothing going to connect right now. It's okay. we will get back eventually. Going for the Luma. Who's just sitting there not doing anything. Now it feels raw. Now he feels innocent. What is this person? Luma's dead. What are you doing? Close again. This is too close for comfort for either person. But Ice has to be wondering if this is going to be it right now. One landed hit could take Xavier's hunter to mean nothing. To bring him out of this game. To end this set right here. Up A. Down to the side. Luma firing away. Down to the bottom of the platform. It's getting close again. Al Bob is watching from the back because he knows that the winner of this is going to face him next. This is very important. And the presenters are both above 100 now. This is too risky to take it into account. We are just waiting for that final kill hit to be confirmed. Shields are everywhere. Parries are everywhere. Luma's doing who knows what. Now he's dead. Another parry. Forward hit. Back to the side. Miss. There's the grab. Throw. Going for the outside. Not going to connect on anything. Still close. On the ledge. Okay. Survival from ice to move on. Banning FD in Town and City as we go into game four. Wow. Okay, first game for Ice. Well, well, well done. Well done. Set Sentinel, you going? You going? Good luck. More matches happening all around the room right now. People still playing melee in the back because it is just a fun game to play. We are jumping immediately back into game four on Battlefield, which was decided after banning FD in Town and City. Here with James and JJ for the beginning of the end, possibly, of these semis, because now that Xavier realizes the position that he's in, this could probably close it off. Now, I've heard your opinions about Mario, and I've heard your opinions about Luma, but what are your opinions about Rosalind, the character herself? Because I'm not as experienced in matchups with her. Honestly, I've kind of left that I've period of my life. I've never played against Rosalina. Like ever? Much ever? Okay. What do you take from her just from this match alone? I don't know. Cool. That's fine. <laughs> she is Space Woman. Space Woman. That's it. I mean, I, moving on. More like Space. She's Space space Goddess. Space? She's the she's the goddess of space. She has like god capabilities in the game. And then like she kind of just controls the and then weird, galaxies. And then weird uh, lore implications based on like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, she's Peach's daughter and like kind of Luigi's sister. It's a weird thing. I, I don't know. I didn't watch Game Theory for a while. We gotta we gotta get back to this at some point. Supposedly I'm checking viewers to see. Yeah, but you're like, still here. Hi, Gray. Yeah, I'm sorry. I I, I I probably sound crazy, and I'm okay with that. Yo, crazy's the <clears> way to go. Yeah, apparently. Just in my opinion. Five viewers in here. Ooh, one of them is us. Save. One it's of them is me. Up, so we get three other people watching right now. Good to see you guys in here. We're down two to two. All right. <laughs> We're going for this as much as we can. Here we go. Bunch of jabs. He's going for those grab jabs once again from Rosalina. And he knows that Luma can help a lot with that. So he's trying to take the possibilities when he can. But Xavier is really trying to land one of these down bees again. You see him going for it every time he takes a jump to the top platform of the stage. That's so uh, he's got to go for that's it. That's the upper again. Air, not down B. It looked like the spin. Uh, yeah, the spin. Oh, wait, he's is Mario. He's, he's Mario. Mario. He's it's not, not Doctor Mario. Dr. Mario. Uh, Do not acknowledge my idiot idiocy. I just <laughs> I don't know things sometimes. It's okay. It's all right. Let's finally do this. All right, good throw. See, there's the flood that was confirming that it was Mario. He didn't fully commit to it, but it at least proved that I was wrong and not fully paying attention. I feel great about that. I mean, there's the upward moving, kill. He's moving very quickly and he's doing ladder combos. He really is. Dr. The combos Mario are crazy. Would never. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of never, there seems to be a never Mario chance for Rosalina to come totally. back with this. Again, yeah, 144, so we're going to see what happens, but it looks like Xavier's going to take this again. He's got the lead. He's got the confidence boost right now from taking that stock so Luma's quickly. Dead. And Luma is already gone in this stock for him. So if Rosalina's going to do this, Luma's she's do, got little to work with. Luma's do respawn. Um, takes time. But yeah, it does take does time. She ha does there he have go. that much time is the question. Yeah, it's already respawned. Oh, my God. It's, cool. actually, it's actually pretty quick. That's like 10 seconds. That's nothing. Eh, I think it was like 15. Oh, my yeah. God. All right, fine. Fine. 
Oh, what? Good launch. 172 any second now. What confirms got to happen to keep this game alive for him. Okay. We are one apiece. Rosalind is working on thin ice right now, but it is possible to bring this to a game five, and that would be pretty, pretty cool. So we're going for as much oh, as we can. We Luna's want the content. Luma's gone. Looking for a weakness here. Looking for a place to hit. But missed grab. Shield. Dodge to the side. Grab again. This one actually connects. Going to the outside with a throw. Moving down. Launch star back to the platform. Up. And there we go to the screen. 1-3, finishing it off. Well played all around. And we thought that was going to be more. We thought we were going to go to game five. But that finishes it there. And Xavier will move on to winner's finals with Ab McBob momentarily. Not, yeah. Well done, well done, well done. All right. Let's reset our numbers and our overlays as we get set for whatever the hell happens next. Reach group three. Having fun. I promise I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, you can stop if you want. Yeah, I think I'm going to You want to go back? Sweet, let's do it. Gray, we're leaving. Okay, so good to see you. Good to hear from you. Love you. Bye. That's it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said it to everybody. I said it to you. Why, why, are, you, why, are, you, why are you? Whatever. See you eventually. Everyone yeah, else. I, I, everyone I'm else just, on the stream. I'm just kind of low energy now. That's like, totally fine. Like, whoa. I see the stats going for viewers. Kind of, kind of crazy. Everyone else in the stream right now, please stick around. Even though I'm not going to be here, we have some good matches coming up, and I hope other people will actually update the UI to match it. Um, yeah, I'll probably check the stats later. Um, yeah, get excited. Xavier will be back soon. Thanks.
Stage, right? 
that and also like I accepted the fact that you're going to play really good London on pressure. Yeah. And I changed up my style playing a lot more grounded in this way for like starting the horizon. Before you could kind of jump in with it, but now you know exactly when to just swipe in. Uh, you definitely had it just just came naturally yeah. to yeah. 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 like, I'm like, I'm they are kind of like, but you guys still did fantastic. I do not think that was like, I'm not. The real remastered cast. You're like Ditto or not? Fuck no. We're doing Minimum of this time without the mind and doing 10 down there and certain interaction. That was bad. I was so pissed off. Are we going PS2? We're doing Vans again. I'm serious, Tim. Kevin, can you put the score? Can you put in the score for. Okay. You need what I'm telling myself. That's it. I knew if I got the coin toss beat, you said that you won. Yes. Let's go to Applebee's. Let's go. I go to Applebee's. We already decided. Guys, I got news. I'm pretty sure you said you missed it. Shut up. What the fuck? Oh. I'm down to dice. Okay. Wait, we have to be careful. You're getting better. You're getting better. I'm so happy for you. Just because you drink 70 in one day doesn't mean it's heat. Yeah, I, as soon as I thought you did that, I'm like, yeah, you would do it. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Look at Advent, Effie, and uh, K
Alright, have a good night, y'all.